What's up bros? Today I've got the Nerf Rival Pathfinder. And this is one of the new Nerf Rival guns that have the new Nerf Rival Accurounds, which according to the front of the box are the most accurate Nerf Rival rounds. And it also says Advanced Precision Battling. Here's the front of the box. And here's the back of the box. It shows the new AccuRounds, number one. Number two, it shows that it has an optimized barrel. And number three, it shows that it has an adjustable rear sight. All right, let's open it. So let's take a look at this blaster. First, I wanna say that I think the stock on it's pretty cool. And it says Rival on it, obviously. You have your front sight here, which is clear plastic, which I think looks really cool. And your rear sight is here. And you have this little dial here that you can turn and it raises the sight up and down. So that's how you can adjust your sight. You have an indicator here that lets you know that whether it's primed or not. And, I, and it's on both sides. And so when it's not primed, it's yellow. And then when you prime it, it's orange. This is your trigger, obviously. You have a safety right here. Forward is safe and back is fire. This is your mag release. This is your slide to prime the blaster. And this is your optimized barrel. It comes with a 12 round mag. that looks like that. The blaster comes with 12 Nerf Rival Accu rounds and they're pretty similar to Nerf Rival rounds except the little divots in them are bigger. All right, so to use this blaster, we just load up the bag with rounds. and try not to spill them all over the place like I did. Then you load your mag, then you prime, you make sure it's on fire, you aim, and fire. And what I just noticed as I set the blaster down is that you have this soft rubber bottom of the mag and a little handle, so it's nice that it, it doesn't bang because it's soft and it's nice because you got a little hang, handle if you want to pull it out. Uh, one last thing is that the blaster has a reset button. If your round is jammed and it's already been primed, you can even take this out and you just pull this little button here down and then Let me go from this side. Down, and then it releases the slide, so you can do that. Like that. All right, bros, before I chrono this, there's one thing that I wanna show that I already like a lot about this blaster. And that is that you can take the mag in or out without having to pull the priming slide back. 96.1, and 94. So I would say this is around the low to mid 90s. All right guys, let's go ahead and field test this blaster. According to the back of the box, they did some testing with a target that's 30 meters away. I'm not sure how big the target was, but what I did is I tested it by shooting Jackson that's about 30 meters away, and I'm trying to hit the target on his chest.
Next, I did a long range accuracy test by trying to hit Jackson at about 50 feet away. All right, bros, so here are my final thoughts. Overall, I think this is a good blaster and I like it. As I mentioned earlier, I like how you can just put the mag in and out without having to pull the slide back. I like the look of it and um, it performed well. It was windy when I was doing the accuracy test, so I had to adjust my shot a little bit for the wind. And even though I was not hitting the target every time at 30 feet, I was at least able to hit the target at 50 feet. And also the blaster never jammed on me while I was using it. My only really complaint about this blaster is it's not big enough. I would like the stock to be a little bit bigger and I would like the slide to be a little bit bigger. But then again, this is a toy and it's made for younger nerfers. So ultimately it's really not a complaint at all. For me personally, I prefer rival blasters over most dart blasters because in my opinion, they're generally more powerful and more accurate. All right, bros, it's shout out time. The first shout out goes to the king of music. The next shout out goes to Sunny Salonga. The next shout out goes to Dominator. The next shout out goes to the Ghost of 213. The next shout out goes to Hammy Hamster. The next shout out goes to Simply New Galaxy. The next shout out goes to Bowen Court Camp. The next shout out goes to Happy Blasters. The next shout out goes to Dominic's Daily Vlogs. The next shout out goes to Vexer22. The next shout out goes to Bloodshed. The next shout out goes to Ian Yurevig. The next shout out goes to Jeremiah Castro with the Nerf Rival Charger. The next shout out goes to Khalid Azalani. The next shout out goes to Pigs Plays Gaming. The next shout out goes to Shomari Iwan. The next shout out goes to Gustavo Martinez. The next shout out goes to Let's Talk About Dyson, the Dyson V6 Origin. The next shout out goes to Toon Min. The next shout out goes to Kingston Chambers. The next shout out goes to Ultraman Jen Dutt. The next shout out goes to Spooky Boys Inc. The next shout out goes to Wolfie Wisp. The next shout out goes to JT the Super Gamer. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Be happy. Peace out.